Hey friends, welcome back to Acre Homestead. My name is Becky and today we are gonna go through my once a month grocery shopping haul. I actually have three different hauls for you today. Over here, I have a Costco haul. I spent $2.99 at Costco. Most of the stuff I actually picked up at Costco are not actually groceries, they're more household goods and I'll go into that when we get over there. And then I have a Walmart pickup haul. I spent $2.39 at Walmart and there is a few household items mixed in there as well. And then something I'm super excited about is I have a plant start haul. I went to my local nursery after work today and I bought myself some plant starts. And I get to plant those into the garden this weekend and I'm super excited about that. So let's go ahead and get right into the haul and I'll show you what I got. We can start with the produce here. I picked up six bags of frozen peas. We were completely out of frozen peas, which is a no-go in this house. So I made sure to pick up six of those. I picked up four bags of frozen broccoli. I never buy frozen broccoli, so I'm not sure why I bought this. You're gonna notice a little theme in this video. I on accident bought a few things that I don't normally buy or I on accident bought extra of that I didn't mean to buy. That is the one thing about doing the shopping online is sometimes I'll click things a little bit more than I mean to or I'll on accident add things that I didn't mean to buy. Nothing will go to waste and it'll all get used, but I just wanna let you know that I did purchase a few things that I didn't actually mean to buy. We have some Brussels sprouts here and normally I'm pretty impressed with the quality of produce that I get with pickups. I've never really had a problem, but these Brussels sprouts are looking like they need to be used up soon. So I'm gonna use these probably this weekend, which is a little disappointing because I typically buy my Brussels sprouts to last toward the end of the month because they're a pretty hearty vegetable. And so they can usually go a few weeks in the refrigerator, but these ones I don't think are gonna last that long. We have a fresh celery. We have a bunch of frozen celery in the freezer from the garden last year, but I was craving some fresh celery. So I went ahead and picked one of those up. We've got red onions, yellow onions, a bunch of bananas. We've been on a banana bread kick, so I like to let these ripen on the counter and then I break them up into chunks and I throw them in the freezer so I can make banana bread at any time. I have a great banana bread recipe. If you wanna see that, it's up here and I'll link it down below. I picked up some avocados and these avocados are a little bit riper than I would have chosen if I got to pick them myself. So I will make sure that we eat these in the next few days. I got two cauliflowers, a thing of green onions, I am actually gonna cut the ends of these off and plant them in the garden. I've watched a few gardening videos where you can actually plant this part into the garden and they'll regrow, so I thought that'd be a fun experiment. I have two things of cilantro and a thing of parsley. I got some fresh ginger. This was one of those things that I do not remember ordering, but I will use it up. And fresh ginger freezes really well, so if I don't get to all of it, I'll freeze it. I got five heads of broccoli, a thing of cherry tomatoes, six sweet potatoes, these are sweet potatoes that we're actually gonna eat. If you've watched my other grocery haul videos, I keep buying sweet potatoes to grow sweet potato slips, but these are ones we're actually gonna eat. I have four zucchinis, a big thing of carrots, a, a three pack of romaine, and four orange juices. I did not mean to buy four things of orange juice. We actually don't drink that much juice in this house at all. And my husband came in and he's like, why do you have so much orange juice? And I was craving it, so I just meant to order one and I on accident ordered four. So what I'm gonna do is throw three of them in the freezer and then I'll just keep one out in the refrigerator. I'll come back to the plant starts that I bought and I'll finish the Walmart haul. I got some Frosted Flakes. This is my husband's favorite midnight snack, so I had to get him some of those. I got a thing of decaf coffee. I got some toasted sesame oil. I got a thing of bread. I normally make my own bread, but I just don't have the time right now. And I've been craving grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup, so that's what I got this for. I don't buy bread that often, and when I do, I like to throw it directly into the freezer because we can't go through it fast enough before it'll go bad if I leave it out on the counter. And so I just throw it directly into the freezer when I get it. And when I go to make grilled cheese sandwiches, I just make them from frozen bread and it turns out just fine. I got some tostadas. What I've been craving lately is Crunchwrap Supremes. We used to make Crunchwrap Supremes all the time when I was in college, and I haven't had one in forever. And so I went ahead and got some tostada shells and some tortillas. Now, I thought I was gonna be getting the big tortillas. These are a little bit smaller than I was expecting, but I'll be able to cut just a piece off and wrap the tostada with this tortilla, and it'll be just fine. I know it's not the healthiest thing, but it's healthier making it homemade than buying it, so I'm excited to have those because it's been a long time since I've had a Crunchwrap Supreme, probably a couple years, actually. 
me interrupt this grocery haul video to give a public service announcement. So I'm gonna show you some pictures of the garden while I do that. You will notice that I say I am craving something probably three or four times in the video, and I'm realizing that as I'm editing it. And you will also see that I buy decaf coffee because I can't have any caffeine right now. And I wanna clarify that no, I am not pregnant. I probably should have used the words that sounded good or I was wanting that or something like that. I wanted to let you know that no, I'm not pregnant. And the reason I can't have caffeine is because I have a bladder condition and caffeine tends to bother that. So back to our regularly scheduled program, the grocery haul. I got a thing of half and half. This is for coffee and for cooking. I got two things of heavy whipping cream to make homemade sour cream, video up here and down below. A block of Monterey Jack cheese. If you watched my last grocery haul video, you'll know I bought eight pounds of cheese. I actually still have one block of cheese in my refrigerator, but I always like to keep two on hand at least. So I went ahead and just picked up another one because it was on sale for $4.99 and this I paid $10 for it. And you're probably wondering how did you go through that much cheese if it's just two of you in one month? And it's because I did a huge freezer cooking day and I used a bunch of that cheese in those freezer meals. And that is why I picked up another block of cheese. My work is having a Cinco de Mayo party. And so I picked up a sour cream and a shredded cheese for that. I figured my coworkers didn't want to eat my homemade sour cream. So that's why I picked up this and this. Moving on, this is more household items, not necessarily groceries. I don't really consider alcohol groceries that has its own separate budget but I got this because I'm gonna be making some more homemade vanilla I am almost out and I like to make my homemade vanilla with Captain Morgan spiced rum because I feel like it gives it a better flavor most people make it with vodka but I like it with spiced rum and then I got a thing of vodka because I am out and I like to make my pie crust with vodka and super excited about this because this means the weather is getting nicer and we need sunscreen. I like the spray kind. My husband likes the lotion kind, so I got this for me. I already have a bunch of lotion sunscreen. Picked up some Dove soap and some Zesty soap. We've been on a soap saga. My husband didn't like the type of soap I bought for him last time. It was drying his skin out and I was out of town and I wasn't gonna be doing a grocery haul anytime soon. So I told him just go order some soap on Amazon and you'll have it the next day. And he bought this really nice soap and it's, it's beautiful, really nice quality soap, but he spent $5.99 a bar and he's so cute. He's like, I didn't, is that a lot? I don't know. And yes, that's a lot of money for soap. And so I really wanna make some homemade soap. It's been a really long time since I've made homemade soap. I used to make it a long time ago. And I actually purchased all the ingredients and I'm hoping that I can get to making it soon because my husband loved it and I loved it. But for now, I just went ahead and picked up some soap. I hope he likes this soap because this was 50 cents each as opposed to 5.99 each. So that concludes the Walmart haul. And so let's go ahead and get into the Costco haul. So first thing, I bought myself two new shirts today. I am not a huge shopper. The only type of shopping I actually like to do is thrift store shopping, and I haven't found the time lately to do that between gardening and working and making YouTube videos. And so the majority of my clothes, if they're not from the thrift store, I buy them at this little boutique called Costco. I'm already there doing grocery shopping and they're pretty affordable. And so that's where most of my clothes are from. These are just some short sleeve shirts and I like this fabric. It's kind of that stretchy fabric. It's not just cotton. I don't love cotton t-shirts cause they shrink and they get all weird in the wash. But I really like these t-shirts because they're longer in the back which is something I really like out of a t-shirt. And so I got two of them. And then I went ahead and bought myself two packages of gloves. These were my favorite gardening gloves that I bought last year. For a pack of 10, they were on sale for $9.99, which, ma which makes each pair of glove $1. And when I was done using them last year, I would throw them in the wash. And one pack did get me through a whole year. I'm only down to about three sets of gloves right now. And so I went ahead and picked up two so that I wouldn't run out. And these were a great price. When I was at my local nursery today buying those plant starts, for this exact kind of glove, it was $5.99 a pair. And so, so I made sure to buy me enough to at least last me through the year, if not longer just some shampoo and conditioner. I got two head and shoulders, and then I got three conditioners and one shampoos. I already have one shampoo upstairs in my closet. I don't know about you, but for every bottle of shampoo, I always buy two things of conditioner. I don't know if that's a long hair problem or if that's just a meat problem, but I definitely go through a lot more conditioner than I do shampoo. I got some dairy products. I may have forgotten that I put in my Walmart pickup haul heavy cream and half and half. So I went ahead while I was at Costco and bought, picked up one of each of them. But the best by date isn't until June 18th on this and I'm gonna make this into sour cream. So what I'll do is I'll make sour cream tomorrow and that should last us. And then right before the best by date on this, I will just make sure I find things to put 
the half and half in and the best by date isn't until June 21st. You cannot freeze heavy cream or half and half. It gets really weird. You can freeze whole milk, no problem, but I wouldn't freeze half and half or heavy whipping cream. Costco butter is my favorite butter. So I picked up another one of those. And then I picked up some Pecorino Romano. This right here was a huge expense. This was $54. I completely ran out of saran wrap. The last time I had to buy saran wrap when I bought this exact one was in 2014. Last week when I did my freezer cooking, I used the last of my plastic wrap. So I went ahead and picked one of those up. This was $23. And then I only have the small tin foils and I'm really sick of buying the little ones at the grocery store. And so I went ahead and picked up one of these. I think this was around like $23. And while I was there, I picked up some parchment paper and this was $9.99. So this right here was a huge expense and it was a little bit painful to buy it, but this is probably gonna last me six or seven years. This is probably gonna last me a couple years and I have no idea how long this is gonna last me, but I am set on these things for a while. So as much as it is a little bit painful to buy these, I'm glad to have them so that they'll last a really long time and I won't have to buy them for a really long time. I picked up four whole rotisserie chickens because I am out of my own homemade bone broth and I wanna get some of that made and canned up. That is this weekend's project. And so stay tuned for that. I normally would like to make this out of organic chicken if I can, but we are on a budget right now because we need to buy a new roof this summer. And so these are like $5.49 each. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the chicken off the bone. I'm gonna package them up into freezer bags and I'll freeze the chicken so I already have pre-cooked chicken. And then I'm gonna take the bones and I'm gonna make bone broth and I'm gonna can that this weekend. I got some of these Adele sausages. These are our favorite, these pineapple and bacon. They are so good. If you haven't tried these, I would highly recommend you try these. I went ahead and got a pretty cheap bottle of white wine. This was like $4.50. I bought that white wine because I have chucker in my freezer. My husband went hunting about a year and a half ago and I've never made chucker before and that's what he was hunting. It's a little bird. I'm pretty intimidated about cooking it because I don't know how to cook it. And on Monday I had a patient in and he was telling me his favorite ways to cook chucker because he's a chucker hunter. And he was so sweet. He was telling me about this recipe and I was like okay I need to look it up I need to look it up and I never did and I actually forgot the name of the recipe but then he was in today and he brought me the recipe it was so sweet and that's what that white wine is for so I need to still pick up papers to make the recipe but I'm going to bring you guys along when I make that because it's going to be an adventure I've never cooked any wild game before and so it'll be fun to see if we like the taste of it I had two patients actually in this week that told me chucker is really good I got two things of breakfast sausage I think I'm going to be doing some breakfast freezer meals I got a thing of tortilla chips. These are our favorite tortilla chips from Costco. And then I picked up two things of toilet paper. I am not hoarding toilet paper. I have always bought two packages of toilet paper, even pre-pandemic. The reason is because a theme, when I buy one thing, I normally buy two because I don't like to run out of it. And I'm really grateful because when the blank hit the fan, I had enough toilet paper to share with friends and family until they were able to get their own. And so I'm super happy about it. You can see a picture I'll insert here where there's plenty of toilet paper at Costco and this is not hoarding. I have three bathrooms and what I like to do is divide between the three bathrooms so that we never run out of toilet paper in a bathroom. So that concluded the Costco haul. So let's get into the really fun stuff, the plant starts. So most of these plants are peppers, but I did pick up four tomato starts. I picked up four celebrity tomatoes. These are a hybrid tomato and they're like a slicing tomato because I believe Living Tradition grows these tomatoes every year and they're their favorites and I don't have any out in the garden right now. So I wanted to give these a try. I got one Serrano pepper, eight California Wonder peppers. My peppers did terribly last year. So I'm really hoping for a better pepper harvest. I bought four of these sweet peppers. These are Carmen Italian Sweet Roasting Pepper. I bought two cayenne peppers. I'm really hoping to make my own red pepper flakes this year. And then I just realized I didn't mean to buy this one. This is a golden Greek pepperoncini pepper. And I thought I was buying four of these, four of these ring of fire peppers. And this one was, I think I just grabbed it by mistake, but that's okay, we'll try it. And these are two more of the Ring of Fire cayenne peppers. And then I bought two poblano peppers. 
I do have quite a few peppers that I started from seed that are in my grow room right now that I'm going to be planting out as well, but they don't look as healthy as these ones. These ones look so beautiful and lush compared to the ones that I've started myself. Next year, I'm definitely hoping to improve on my seed starting abilities, and that is why I purchased a bunch of these because I'm trying to guarantee a pepper harvest this year. So even though I did start a bunch of my own peppers, I wanted to back up. And friends, that concludes my once a month grocery haul plus, plus some household items as well. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a great evening and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye guys.